What's going on, Warpath family? Yep, yeah, we're back at it again. It's another Warpath video. Today, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about some of these army groups. We have some new metas. Maybe. I don't know. But we definitely have some new groups forming with some new troops and new styles. And it's definitely pretty interesting. So if you guys are interested to find out more, stay tuned to the video, guys. All right, guys, everybody quiet on set. Yeah, that was awkward, wasn't it? Yep, it's okay. We have those moments. Anyway, today, guys, we're going to talk about the army groups. All right, army groups are a new feature because they have now these army group tactics, right? So people were doing army groups before. They were doing bunkers. And in war, you know, because you want mass amount of people online, people are doing army groups, right? And everybody pretty much had fast ones, which were mediums and tank hunters. And then the other group was super heavies and arty. And boy, those were tough to get past because, you know, super heavies and arty. Woo! Pew, pew! Goes fast. Yep. So, now we have army group tactics. And I have slowly but surely been seeing people. They've been doing some friendly battles, you know, in the server, getting ready for the next Moscow, you know, because that's the new pumped up event. Moscow, let's get ready. Yeah. And people are experimenting. So now we have some new tactics. And the reason that they're experimenting is because... These army groups give buffs, and these army groups buffs are different. As you can see, we have the command, and we have the coordination. Now, we're not going to dive really, really far into these, which would be a good video, but I want to explain why people are testing different things out, okay? In the command, right here, the first two branches really um, are going to be about the ravens and stuff like that, ravens and bunkers. So that's not really going to help you in war, but these will because they let you gain more people in your rally group. So, yeah. Or you could just have more army groups, which would probably be, that'd probably be a good idea. But anyway, sorry, being a little silly. The bottom one down here is where it's at. Now, what does that mean? You have attack damage, right? You have firepower. And you have another attack damage. Okay? Right here. Damage resistance. Durability. And dur damage resistance. Okay? Now, here's the key here. These ones are prominently bigger. But, here's the kicker. You have to meet the prerequisite what does that mean grant so if i want a uniform army group da attack damage increase army attack damage for same unit type artillery tanks and infantry takes effect when army group formed and preconditions are met listen guys artillery tanks and infantry nobody fights with infantry infantry suck Okay, so what does that mean? <laughs> well, nobody's going to come in there with the infantry. I guess you could have one infantry in there just to get the buff, right? But the buffs are much higher. They're much higher than the other ones. The other group only go to 1.5%. These ones go up to 5%. That's big. That's a lot bigger. But it's not specific to camp either. Which means that it's good, so if, like, somebody throws in some tanks, some artillery, and some infantry, it's not specific upon you picking a certain type. These ones, in coordination, that don't have anything to do with bunkers, have these two levels right here, right? And they deal with the different factions. So what does that mean? Well, you only get 60. So... If I have 60 points and I put and I, and I assigned them to here, 
I have to choose wisely which factions I'm going to be using. And if anybody joins my army group that doesn't have that faction, well, guess what? No buff. So, here you go. Right there. And these buffs, just like we can see, are not that much. 1.5. But, once again, you have two tiers of these. So the question has always been, like, which one do I go with? Do I go with, you know, specific units? Like, I know that everybody's going to have Liberty already, and I know everybody's going to have a Vanguard Super Heavy. Maybe this might be for you. Because you can literally see that you can pick which ones you want, and you can boost it up. But, if you have groups and guys that throw in randomly stuff, right? You don't know. They might throw in whatever, a Martyr's Watch or something like that. Maybe Command would be better for you down here in this tier. But, it wants an infantry. An infantry! Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm trying to explain why exactly all of these ideas have been formulating, right? How could we throw in infantry? What could it do? I mean, how do we get that buff? Maybe we should use the other tab. Maybe we should run something else. And interestingly enough, because Super Heavy is Vanguard, you have to go down that line. And then Liberty is the arty that everybody uses. And you have to go down that line. You're stressed out to get down those lines, right? So people have been talking about running mediums with... Rocket launchers. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Rocket launchers are fast. They're an artillery, right? So that means that your artillery commanders are going to blast out. They can kill bases. They're not as good as artillery, but they can kill bases. They can also row some units on there, but they're super fast. So are mediums. But Martyr's medium, it tanks. It tanks a little bit. Takes better than the other ones. Hmm. Interesting. You can work on one line. Interesting. What do you guys think? Medium with rockets. Do you think that would beat out the meta of Super Heavies and Artie? Hmm. Some people have tested it with the buffs and stuff like that and said that they could literally, in a single army group of rocket launchers with a medium maybe one or two but they could literally melt a 70 million power base with those rocket launchers before the medium died hmm interesting interesting hmm well i believe the video has already went long enough but the conversation has started I would love to talk more about this because these are things that are going to happen in this next Moscow. These are things that people are honestly going to start talking about and debating about is what is the best army group to run? What is the meta? And people are going to try different things. And we're going to see exactly how it goes. So, if you guys would, leave a comment down. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.